Okay, okay, it's that time again. Who's up first? Who's next? How about Candace? Oh my goodness. Congratulations on making it to the NBA Finals. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, CG. Thank you. Ah, oh, man, I'm glad you're here with us for this one. Right? Well, it's been such a pleasure. I mean, you've got a chance to be the youngest player to lead your team to a championship since Tim Duncan. I mean, what would that mean to you? <laughs> wow. Um, you kind of just blew my mind with that one. I mean, Tim Duncan is one of the GOATs, and that dude was a straight G on the floor. You know, he came into the league and dominated. Dominated from the beginning. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Right, but will you view this season as a failure if you don't win the title? Uh, I don't know about failure, per se, but I would personally be crushed if we got this close and not close to. So I wonder, do you view this NBA Finals as your introduction to the world? Not just me, but our entire squad. I mean, people don't know about us yet, but they're going to find out. You know, a lot of people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and realize that we are in the NBA Finals. And that's how we won it. You know, we're here to shock the world like Ali did. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, do you see yourselves as big underdogs? Yeah, I mean, I think we're being doubted by most people, and that in particular fuels us. But we definitely believe we have a chance to win. A, a matter of fact, we know we're going to win. You know, this team is united in that belief. And now it's just time for us to prove it. Okay, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. NBA Finals Game 1 against the Chicago Bulls, a team no one expected. We do have our starting lineups set up correctly with Sengun in the starting lineup. Chris, uh, Josh Christopher is back. And we got Jabari Smith Jr. on P.J. Tucker in these finals. So I'm expecting a huge finals performance for Jabari Smith Jr. and a hopeful sweep of the Chicago Bulls. This is a finals matchup that has historic implications on it with two historic franchises in the Bulls and the Rockets, both with several championships. The Rockets, I believe, have three, and the Bulls have six. Obviously, the most known storyline between these two teams is the fact that number one pick, Hakeem Olajuwon by the Rockets, number two pick, Michael Jordan for the Chicago Bulls, two great picks, made sense for both teams, and that that really shows the history. I don't know if they ever face each other in the play um, finals. I'm not really sure, but I mean, this is gonna be set up for a historic matchup between these two teams right now. As I'm gonna get open for a three, and I'm probably gonna miss. Yep, we're absolutely rolling so far in this first quarter. Sengun has been outstanding as Green. Gets the steal. I'm on the break. And I'm going to dunk it. And I expect that camera angle. That's kind of dope. at and slam cam. What a dunk. Will that be the thumbnail? Nah, nah. We can get something better. But yeah, Sangoon has been absolutely outstanding in this game. He's been amazing in the playoffs. Averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds, a steal, and two blocks. Now, he might be like 6.6 .6 rebounds for a center. Especially the six rebounds, not much. But the fact that this man's averaging two blocks and a seal and not many minutes as Zach Levine's going to miss that shot is amazing. And he's really filling in that center position at the current moment. And if we do strike out in free agency at the center spot, we know we have someone like Sangoon that is going to fill in very nicely. There you go. Our playoff stats, two blocks, two assists, six points. It's not going to show his steals or rebounds, but it is 6.6 .6 rebounds and 1.1 steals. Man has been outstanding. Him and Jabari Smith have held down that front court as DeMar DeRozan is going to hit a tough mid-range shot. I'm going to sub that for the first time. 12-point lead in this first quarter. Can we continue up by 15 at the end of the first? They subbed me back in, though. They really did not give me much of a break as Drummond is going to miss the free throw. I am going to go on the break. I thought maybe Eric Gordon could get open. But I'm going to get the dunk for my second score of the game. I have not needed to score much at all in this game. Only my second field goal. Four points, four rebounds, nine assists, and only a single turnover so far in game one of these NBA Finals. Ten first quarter assists. That's got to be some sort of record. If not, oh wow, out of bounds. Uh, that's got to be some sort of record or, or something. Honestly, I don't know. Ten first quarter assists. That's insane. To be honest, if it's not a record, it's got to be a record for someone uh, 
like a rookie or someone as young as Gerald Johnson because I forget how young your character is. I'm assuming 19 uh, is how young you are as Vucevic is going to get a wide open three and he's going to hit it, cutting it to a 14-point lead. But yeah, 10 assists is crazy to start off the game. And I'm going to continue that. I have not really needed to score, as you can see, up 14 without me even scoring five points. As Sangoon is going to throw up the floater. And he continues his hot streak. 11 points, 5 for 5 from the field. Absolutely torching the Chicago Bulls. And winning his matchup against Vucevic. Oh, I got subbed out. Up by 15. I did not even notice that. Uh, Okay, 16-point lead. Heading into halftime. 13 points, 12 assists, 5 rebounds. I am 0 for 3 from downtown. It's not looking good from 3-point land. But other than that, I am absolutely taking over this game. That stat line at halftime is insane. We have been tearing apart the Chicago Bulls on the pick and roll with Sangoon. As he gets a great defensive stop there. Javari Smith keeps stealing my rebounds, to be honest. I should have a lot more. As I go right by... Lonzo Ball, who is currently hurt, and I get the spin dunk right around him, and I currently have 20 points. I am 1 for 5 from downtown. Not looking good from there, but I have hit a 3. 20 points, 5 rebounds, 16 assists, and I believe I might have a block, but dominating performance from Gerald Johnson, Gerald Johnson and Alfred Sangoon. Now, in the end of the third quarter, we currently have team takeover, but the Bulls are on an 11-2 run. To end this third quarter so far. Can they keep it up? It's mainly due to the fact that we're running such a small lineup. And Drummond's been able to just absolutely abuse us. Like that. So, yeah. That, ex that explains everything that's going wrong here. Uh, Lonzo Ball with the ball. He's only got a few seconds left. And, yeah. Drummond's going to get an easy dunk. He's just been bullying us. He, he is the X factor for them. Against a team like us that can't. That has no interior defense, nor has any rebounding ability. Especially without Sangoon in the game. We have uh, Usman Garuba starting at our center position. So it doesn't it doesn't help uh, exactly with the center like Drummond. So Garuba comes at the screen. I'm going to kick it out to you. How is that a turnover? Alonzo wasn't even looking at the ball. And Kobe White kicks it out to Joe. How much time is left? God damn, there was a lot of time left. 13-point lead going into the fourth. Wow, the Bulls have brought in their give-up lineup with seven minutes left to go. So did we. No, we didn't. Uh, kind of. We still have Jabari Smith in the game. But they have DeMar still in. But, yeah, they, they've given up. The Bulls, I mean, yeah, you're down by 23, but there's still a lot of time left. I don't know if you should give up now. But, I mean, I'll take it as, yeah, that's another turnover. I saw that coming. They have Terry in. Don't know who this guy is. They have uh, Jeremy Lamb, who I didn't even know was on the roster. Tony Bradley. They still got DeMar, and then they bring in Derrick Jones Jr. As DeMar's going to miss an easy layup, but he's going to get the put back. He just wanted to pad up his stats a little bit. But yeah, I have a feeling they're going to end up bringing in the starters soon because that's just what 2K does. They'll end up bringing them in again. But whoever this Terry guy is, yeah, I'm going to cook him. I'm just going to continue to cook him until the end of the game as long as he's in the game. And yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just ask out to the end because there's no need for me to sit and play. The rest of this game, we're going to win 111 to 135. Game one of the NBA Finals belongs to the Houston Rockets. What a win for us. Dominating fashion, winning by 24. Final box score, 30 points, 6 rebounds, 21 assists for Gerald Johnson. 12 for 20 from the field, 2 for 7. From downtown, didn't get to the line much, didn't really score much, only 30. Sengun, the unsung hero, 24 points, 6 rebounds, didn't miss a single shot tonight besides one free throw. What a game, KJ Martin off the bench, balled out with 16. KPJ also, these do combined for 31 off the bench. Uh, uh, Jabari Smith with 14 points and 8 rebounds. Eric Gordon with 12 points. Jalen Green didn't do much. Jabari Smith took the step back, but Sengun, what a game for him. Zach Levine with 33 points. Yeah, he went to the line 15 times. DeMar DeRozan, nowhere to be found. Drummond balled out off the bench, and Lonzo Ball, nowhere to be found. Same thing with Vucevic. But that's going to be it for me. That's it for game one. See you guys in game two. GG.